All right, what is up everybody? And welcome to part three of my building a massive aquarium series. Right in back of me there, you guys can see the 380 gallon aquarium is still being fixed up. I have some final touches to put on it. So what you're looking at right now is actually the tank face down. So that is going to end up being the top. And yeah, that's the bracing. Now, the bracing right now has no paint or anything on it. So first thing I need to do is actually waterproof the bracing with Pond Shield. So going to get that done. Then I got to flip this bad boy over and paint the outside just to make it look good. It's got to look just as good on the outside as it does on the inside. And then the moment I'm sure you all and definitely myself included have been waiting for, which is filling this thing up with water. And it is going to hold quite a bit of water, hopefully, right? Uh, can't afford to have a large tank like this leaking, especially not in this basement. So what we're gonna do is we are going to take it very slowly. It is currently Friday, and by next week, end of next week, I'm looking to have this thing uh, pretty much filled up. But we are gonna go an inch you know, uh, for the first day or so, and then just slowly build up to a quarter of the tank, half the tank, and then obviously at the end of the day, the full tank uh, will be filled. Now, aside from my stingrays uh, being at home in this new tank, I would love for you guys to comment down below as to what other fish I should keep in this tank with the stingray. So go ahead, please do that. I've been thinking a datnoid. I have my discus, obviously, but I think I want to keep my 125 back there, my discus tank. So go ahead, uh, drop some comments. I'd love to hear from you guys down below and uh, stay tuned for a lot more. Okay, so first step was going to Home Depot and getting the paint and also plumbing supplies for the sump that I'll be having on this new tank. I had to put primer down. I knew nothing about painting. I didn't even know you had to put a primer down before applying the actual paint. So that was the first step. Okay, camera's rolling. So, huh, um, I got a lot to do today. I'm a little bit flustered because I'm trying to get all this painting done. This will probably be the last part of this particular video. It's just the painting. Um, I'm not gonna wait uh, to get the top uh, waterproof. What I'm saying is, obviously I'm gonna wait to um, put water in, but I'm going to waterproof it tomorrow, okay? I just wanna get this third part of the video series out. So waterproofing the top, will be involved in the actual putting water in the tank. I'll have that all be its own part on part four. But I thought it was a little bit important to give you all an update on where the tank is at. So obviously I connected the videos of my time lapse of me priming the tank, okay? So we got the primer on, that's all been cured, that's hardened, that's great. Now I need to paint the tank the actual colors that it's going to be, all right? And now we're gonna stick with black and gray. You guys will see, I'll do some time-lapse video of me painting this thing today. I also have to do a water change, and I also have to keep track of my tortoises. I have tortoises, I'll show a quick 
clip of them, uh, but they're outside because it's actually a nice day in Illinois today. It's about 80 degrees and sunny, but that means that everybody's kids are out as well. So I have about a pack of five uh, boys outside, young children who are surrounding my tortoises, and I'm just praying that they're all there when I go back outside, but we'll see. Now, another thing I was worried about with this tank, and I'm going to include this probably in another part of this video series, is the glass. The glass panel is now permanently on, and it is holding well. The silicone I used was GE uh, Silicone 1. Make sure it's Silicone 1, because apparently GE Silicone 2 has mold inhibitors that will affect the water quality. But right now, this thing is holding strong. I get it. I don't have water in this thing quite yet. But right now, just staying where it needs to be, Mission accomplished, GE, okay? So I can't say anything negative about the silicone at the moment. Anyway, get a few, uh, get a few clips of me painting today, maybe a few clips of uh, the water change. I just fed the fish, so now I gotta do the water change. And then a few clips of the tortoises, which hopefully uh, a pack of wild children have not taken. We'll see. Okay, so the painting went fairly smoothly. There were a few things, two mistakes here and there, but nothing that can't be covered up with more paint. And instead of showing you guys more painting videos, we'll end out with the tortoises. The only steps I have left to do are just waterproof the bracing on the top, completing painting the outside of the aquarium with the colors I need it to be, and then obviously filling the tank with water and adding the stingrays. And that will be coming up in part four and then the final episode, uh, part five.